If you are overwhelmed by the amount of brushes that come by default with Procreate, in this video, I will show you which ones are the best ones and how I use them to create my illustrations. <laughs> What's up guys, Lucas here, I'm a concept artist and illustrator working for video games and this channel is all about art and creative life, so if that's something that you like, consider subscribing. Okay guys, so the way that we are going to do this is I'm just gonna create a new document and go inside and I'm gonna start going uh, like category by category and showing you guys my favorite brushes from each one of those categories. So uh, I'm gonna just give a, a little bit of, of a hue of a background color to the, the whole document because I, I don't want to, to draw in white, it's something that I just never never liked. And, and let's start. So the first category that I want to show you guys is the sketching, the sketching section. So from here, actually, there are some, well, several of really nice brushes, but the problem is that they are very similar. So I tried them all and I think, guys, that my two favorite ones are first, the peppermint, and second, the Procreate pencil. And I'll, I'll show you guys why, why they are so good. So let's start with the peppermint. The peppermint one, well, what I decided to draw with it, because I'm gonna draw something different for each one of those, for each brush that I recommend to you guys, is a sphere, you know? Because what I what the peppermint reminds me of is like a, a, a nice, beautiful charcoal pencil. Some one that, that you can actually use the tip to make strong and define sharp lines, and also tilt the pencil and use the, the side to make some soft shadows. So if you're looking for something that feels more natural, more like, like I don't know, like a 6B pencil, like a real charcoal pencil, then Peppermint is fantastic. Next one also in the sketching section is the Procreate pencil. And this one, on the other hand, like if, pe if Peppermint is for you to create like this charcoal drawings, all elaborate and nice, Procreate pencil reminds me of a real pencil, of a real 2B pencil that you just use the tip. So it's as good as the peppermint is in both having the side drawing and the, and the tip drawing. But the thing with Procreate pencil is that it's 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 really sharp. It's really it responds really well to pressure. So what I love about it is that I can do very sketchy, very soft lines for my sketch, and then immediately go go stronger. So very much like I treat a regular pencil. So let's go now to the second one. This one is inking, and from here I have also two that are my favorites. The first one is tinderbox. So if you're looking for something that feels like like real ink, like you're inking this this drawing with, I don't know, like maybe a, a, a brush pen or something like that, a very fine brush pen or a Tombow or something like that, then the Tinderbox is what my favorite one and the one that I recommend. The thing that I like the most about this one is the small texture that it has. So a lot of the inking brushes that are in your library have a lot of texture. You know, it's just too much. It feels like you're drawing with, with ink on a super coarse, um, like handmade paper. paper or just with a very, very sketchy tool, like a very old brush. So you can notice that it has a very nice pen pressure. You can make small lines and thick lines very easily. And if you make them very close together, you can immediately get the feeling of, of um, cross hatching. So that is something that I really like about Tinderbox. It just has the, the right amount of texture. So yeah, if you're looking for something to ink, or something to to go directly, but give this feeling of very of very dark lines. Dark lines. Tinderbox is the one that I prefer. Let's go to the next one. This one is the second one that I recommend from the inking section. But the thing about this one, this one is the flat marker. And the thing about this one is that it doesn't feel like an inking brush. But I really like it for for sketching. So if you are not, if you like sketching, but Procreate, the Procreate pencil is too hard or, or too too harsh, makes very dark lines, then I think the, far, the flat marker is the one that you are gonna like. It has some really great like soft lines if you just go with it very softly and you can also get really dark if you put uh, press hard enough. So for sketching, I think that 
in the whole section it is my favorite for sketching the next one is the drawing category and and don't worry guys i'm not gonna go like each category by category because there are some that actually have have brushes that i never use so i'm just gonna jump through the ones that i find more useful and in drawing I struggled to find my favorite one. It is, I was not very happy with any of them, to be honest. I think that, you know, flat marker or Procute pencil or some of the other ones make the job better than this one. But if you like maybe some, some more variation on your lines, like if you want to make thinner and thicker lines, then Gloaming is the best brush in this category for that. So why did I, I choose that one over the rest ones? Well, because again, the other ones have a lot of texture. So they are maybe more adequate if you want to do something with a lot of texture, something that goes, uh, you know, like, like, uh, like gives the feeling of a very old brush or a very coarse uh, paper. But if you want to just draw, uh, if you want to, to have a useful tool that help you f helps you for everyday drawing, then Gloaming is the most decent one out of the, the whole section. Okay, so now for all the people that are uh, using Procreate for hand lettering, now we are there. And these ones are amazing. If there is something that Procreate does amazing is hand lettering or calligraphy and this one has to be my favorite for that and is the chalk brush it's just amazingly beautiful it's just delicious and i have to say guys like i have never done calligraphy so just before doing this before before going through this video i was trying to know you know like get a grasp of of the basics of calligraphy and i cannot believe how fun it was if you have not tried calligraphy give it a try and use this brush because it's just is delicious to use. The chalk brush has so much texture and, and it's so easy to, so to control that you feel, I don't know how to describe it, it it's, it's very rewarding to, to use this brush. Okay, and there is another brush that I also like from the calligraphy section. There are a lot of really nice brushes in this section, by the way. This one, I, it was hard to find one that I definitely said, all right, this is my favorite. But I think just to make a, a big contrast with the chalk brush, I like the script brush. Why do I like it? Because it doesn't have any texture and it has a lot, a big variety between thick and thin lines. So it gives you a lot of opportunity to, to just do whatever you want with, with this brush. So I really liked it. I think that that is a very useful one if you need a thick brush that, you know, just, just paints flat, flat, thick <laughs> and, and completely opaque without any texture. I think it is a useful brush to have in your arsenal. And finally, we are in the painting section here. From here onwards is when the painting starts. So that's really nice that, that Procreate organizes the, the brushes from drawing to painting below. And this one, guys, this is my favorite brush in the whole set of, of Procreate. This is the one that I would keep because it's delicious to paint with. And the name is Spectra. Why do I like it so much? Well, it's hard to say without you trying it, but what I like the most is that it feels like natural media and it has just enough texture that it gives some, some richness to it, but with still being in your control. Because what I hate about like really textury brushes is that they just go crazy. Like you have no idea, you cannot control them. They just do whatever the hell they want. But Spectra, is beautiful to work with. It has enough enough texture and at the same time it has thick borders. It allows you a lot of control and you can see me here. I was just glazing, glazing layers. I first made the background then uh, a little sketchy just for the basic shapes. I didn't want to do anything complicated, just a little value value head. And and immediately going through through a couple of layers of shadow then light it starts giving a lot of shape. I like the sharpness of the brush and the texture. So amazing brush. If I would have to keep just one brush of Procreate, this is the one. Spectra, I love it. Okay, so now we went through several of the categories from sketching all the way to painting. And I have to jump the artistic category actually, because to be honest, I didn't find anything useful in it. All the other brushes that I showcased here do the job better. So I, I, I encourage you to try them yourself and see 
uh, see what you think, but to be honest, I think that Spectra does the job way better than any of the brushes in the painting or the artistic category. So let's just jump now to the next one and you can see me that I'm painting with a soft airbrush and that is the first one that I choose chose from the airbrushing category and that is just because having a soft airbrush is absolutely necessary you need a soft airbrush in your in your arsenal for sure it is it is necessary for any artist let's go now to the next one in the airbrushing category and that one is the hard airbrush you know not much to say about this one actually again as the, as the soft airbrush you need it it is absolutely necessary for you to to use to have a hard airbrush in your in your arsenal of brushes and yeah there is you know it's just a hard airbrush there is no no fanciness to it it's just a brush okay so now we are gonna talk about the charcoals my favorite one is the charcoal block why is it my favorite because it has a, a square texture and that's that's what i like it has a, a square shape and i prefer square square brushes uh, that, to be honest, is just a personal preference. I think that if you want something else, you can use perfectly. The Willow Charcoal is pretty good also, but I prefer a square shape. So Charcoal Block is the one that I recommend, and it is a little bit hard to use, especially in a small, in a small um, size, like I was using it here, but it's really fun also. So if you want to have a um, very textured feel and also very blocky, use that charcoal block it's very useful and the last category is the touch ups and that's because they have two brushes that are very useful not through all the painting but i think that they are necessary to have in your folder of favorite brushes and those two are first the short hair brush and second one the noise brush here you can see me using the short hair brush i was just you know like showing how how i can use it to create a little bit a little bit of a clump of hair and it's really useful you know it's very fast to just create a just a, uh, how do you say it? a piece of hair go with highlights and with a white and create immediately the illusion that you are painting hair so very useful brush i think that you have to have a brush like this in your arsenal always and very fast the last one is the noise brush and you can see that the only thing that i was doing is just putting some noise in a in a, in a just gray square because i didn't have i didn't know what to paint with a noise brush because the reason why i use it so much is at the end of the painting sometimes i use the soft brushes so much that my portraits lack a little bit of texture so for all the people that ask me how do i give the texture to the skin well, the noise brush is most mostly what I use. You just go with it at the end on top of your skin and you will see that immediately it gives a, gives a lot of texture. And here they are, here are all my favorite brushes. You can see them, uh, as I told you, you know, like purple and super nice for, for sketching as, as well as Procreate Pencil. Um, my favorites for sure are Flat Marker to, to sketch, Spectra to paint and Soft. Uh, airbrush and hardware brush I think they're super necessary so there you go I'm gonna share this image with you guys probably down there in the description and I hope this helped hey just before you go if you want to learn more about how to use Procreate check out this playlist right here where I go through everything you need to know on how to become a Procreate master guys thank you very much for watching this video till the end leave me a like if it was useful and of course subscribe for more content like this I'll see you guys on the next video